Good evening. It's just six minutes to five on Sunday the 1st of October. I didn't go and fish the match today. I've decided to come down the canal and have a bit of fun on the canal this evening. Um, I've got a 13 foot match rod with me, three pound main line. I've got four BB antenna float on there, very fine tip. I've got three number eight spaced down the line. I've got a three pound hook length and at the moment the size 16 hook. I'll probably change that to a bigger hook a little bit later on. And for baits, I've got some um, blitzed bread and I've got some bread punch or I can use it as flake. I'll turn the camera around in a bit to show you, um, but basically I'm about five yards up from a bush that's on the inside here. And once again, I'm going to fish just down that inside ledge at the end of the rod. So mm, about two yards out from the bank. And I'm hoping that we'll catch some roach, some bream or some hybrids. And I've got a head torch in my pocket so I can stay up until dark. I haven't got the big lamp on the, the camera. But basically I'm just going to take a couple of balls of bread, drop it in at the end of the rod. The canal's towing from um, right to left at this moment in time. And I'm just going to put those out in a line, three balls of that down towards the bush and uh, I'm going to fish over that. It's quite warm actually, it's clouded over, but it, where it's been cold the last few evenings, it's actually quite warm this evening. But I fancied my chances. I've got a four mil punch here. and I've double punched it so I'm fishing basically two bits on the size 16 but as I said a little bit later on if the fishing's any good I'll probably just swap over to flake change the hook to a much larger hook and swap over to a bit of flake But we'll give this a go first. Bread's normally a pretty instant method. And <clears throat> As I said, I'll pan round in a minute. So I've got very fine tipped antenna, um, fishing about a foot over depth. What I'm, the bites I'm expecting to get tonight which differ from the stick float is the stick float slides away from you. With this particular method the float normally slides under towards you. I'll just slacken that clutch off a bit because there are some rather large hybrids um, here. And they don't half go. To be honest, three pound um, hook length is about the finest I'd fish for them. You don't need loads of bread for this sort of fishing. All I've ground up is six slices of bread and that's more than ample. I'll probably be taking some home. Well, I've got three slices with me, but 
probably only need the one slice anyway, but I'll just freeze the others when I get back home. Here we go. Float's gone. Yes, we're into a nice fish. Oh. Yeah, ain't bad. Well, it didn't take too long. It's 17.13 at the moment. So by the time I've finished setting up and that, what, 15 minutes? I've not brought the keep net with me tonight. Looks like a, it's either a hybrid, a hybrid I'd have thought, rather than a skimmer, the way it's fighting. But we'll see in a moment. It's a hybrid, let's see by the scales. Probably about half a pound, three quarters of a pound. That'll do to start. There we go. <laughs> Probably just over half a pound. But it's a nice little start. There it goes. Clean the slime off. thing with bread, although it's only four mil, the discs look tiny. Once they get in the water and they swell, they cover the hook beautifully. I don't know whether the camera caught it or whether you could see it because it is a very fine float but how it slid away towards me or so not how it slid away towards me that's ridiculous how it slid towards me when I got the bite and it's often the way when you're fishing like this it's uh using this particular float and this particular method is a favorite of mine and I'll tell you the reason why um, about 46 years ago, when I was a lad, and um, I was down the canal, I used to see a gentleman down there, he used to turn up on an old Putch Maxi moped, and he used to fish the canal, and while we were all trying to fish over the other side, like you always do, he was always fishing down on the inside here and he was catching some lovely roach, probably 15 ounces uh, to a pound at an average. And I went along and spoke to him and asked him what he was doing and what he was using for bait, as you do. And he was fishing bread, and that was my first introduction to bread. I'd never really fished bread before that. Always used to fish maggots. 
but he was fishing an antenna float as well exactly the same as that they come in many different forms and many different styles the older anglers would remember the um, still water blues the canal greys uh, uh, many other makes of float as well there's a fish just oh topping over the other side and um, But the thing was, it was that same float. They're very sensitive. They've got the, the lower half of the float is, is a buoyant body that holds steady. And then you've got that very fine insert that's very sensitive and gives excellent bite registration. And, uh, but he used to, he didn't used to um, punch his bread then or fish it like flake what he actually used to do was he used to pull off a bit of bread he'd take a pinch of bread and he'd actually roll it up so it was like a maggot and then he'd hook it on just like a maggot I tend to use the bread punch just for convenience, but his method was equally as good, I quite assure you. And as I said, later on in the evening um, or going into the night, I'd go right down to a, a size 10 hook, to be honest, and fish a big bit of flake on it. It's amazing what the, the fish will size hook and bait the fish will take Hi John, you alright? Hi mate. Yeah. What sort of a day did you have in the end? Uh, well, all my pellets went to mush. I've got, I've got no bait really. I finished it with 10 pounds. But... Oh blimey, that's not bad. I to fish the feeder all day. What happened to your pellets then? Are they, have you got a bad batch? Oh, is, that, is that the hook bait or the loose feed? Ah, right, okay. Yeah. Um, what was the winning weight? The winning weight, 23 pounds six. It's nice to see other people turning up and that. Yeah. 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 I should imagine that's the ooh, case. Right, oh, right, I've got to go, John, because I'm just in the middle of playing. I think it's a nice hybrid at the moment. I'm on the canal. <laughs> I'm fishing on the, on the canal. I've had, had one already, and I've, yes, I have got another one here now. Oh. Yeah, that. Yeah, okay then, John, all right. Yeah, I'll, yeah, ta-da then. Oh, there we go. Always the way in it when you're talking to somebody.
Uh, we were just talking about the, the match weights today up there. Uh, the biggest weight was, I think, 23 pound, and there was an 18, and then there was an awful um, lot of 10s, and uh, there was some above that as well, but some 10s and that. So that's good, and the, the people that fished it were quite impressed, which is what I like to see. Shows it's all going well. Oh. Thank you. There we go. Little little hybrid. That same size as the last one, similar weight. I saw some while well, I was talking on the phone to John. That's John Lewis. He's uh, one of the committee members at Canons Ashby with me. And uh, I saw some movement down in the water and a few bubbles come up. So I, I thought we might get a bite in a minute. Hmm. I'm going to dispense with the punch now and I'm going to start fishing some larger pieces of bread. So I've taken a piece of flake, folded it over and then when I can get the hook properly put the hook through the hinge side like that and that will stay on for quite some time wind's dropping off now beautiful I can see some movement further up the canal as well Right, I think I'm going to call it a night at that. I've got a feeling there's another boat coming. The canal's starting to go the other way. Yes, there is, here it comes. So, I'll come back tomorrow, bring a, bring a starlight with me. And um, fish into the dark. Answer your question. Evening.